Hey guys, it's Mohan Pover here and today we're going to talk about how to wake up early and get things done. Like, let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to do it, my channel, my name is Mohan Pover and I've been involved in many businesses over the last few years. I made money, I lost money and I'm here to share and document with you my journey so you won't make the same mistakes. And I'm also here to show you that if you want to get into this space of just business in general, I think that you rather buy an existing business than start one from scratch. And I also think that you have, if you have a business, I don't care what size of business you have, your best way to grow at some point isn't just by doing more sales and marketing, but it is to buy an existing businesses or basically buying your competitors or other complementary businesses in your sectors or other um, similar sectors to yours. And people think that you need millions of dollars in the banks to do so. It's not the case because you can use the beauty with that is that when you start a business from scratch, no one will loan you money because you're a startup. Unless it's like a VC and they will take equity in your deal. When you're buying an existing business, you already have assets in those deals. So basically, any financial institutions will give you money to leverage those assets and buy those businesses. So that's what this channel is all about. And I'm basically sharing different lessons and different perspectives about life and giving you kind of like, I guess, the new ones and that I wish that I had when I started. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe. I promise you won't regret. And comment below, like the video, hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos. And also go to mohanpover.com forward slash quiz if you want to explore how to work with us. And we've been involved in more than 300 deals. We pretty much saw everything, so we can definitely help you. So that's for the introduction. Now let's get to today's topic. So people always ask me, when do I wake up? How my day looks like? And people tell me, hey, you probably don't sleep a lot if you accomplish things. Or they think that you need to sleep, I don't know, three, four hours a night in order to accomplish things. And they think that you need to wake up at like 4 or 5 a.m. with the sun. And if you're not waking up that early, you probably can't be successful. And there are so many different thoughts about this subject. People will tell you, you got to wake up at this time and have this morning routine. Or you got to, some other people might tell you, hey, you got to be a night owl. You got to stay up all night. And that's the only time you are productive. And unless you're staying up all night, you're probably doing something wrong and you can't be successful. In my opinion, based on what I saw in people and my observations of successful people that I've met and know and partner with and work with, and even business owners that we're looking to buy, I can tell you that there's no one formula. Some people just stay up late at night. Some people wake up early, very early. Some people wake up at the normal time. And in the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I don't think that the time that you wake up will determine if you're successful or not. I really don't believe that. Are there benefits to wake up early? Are there benefits to walk up, wake, um, work late at night? I think it depends. It's up to you. If, during, if you wake up, let's say, at normal hours, I don't know, 8, right, 7, 8 or whatever, then maybe if you have too much distractions around you all day long and you can't be focused and productive and make things happen, then maybe it's good for you to wake up early a little bit when pretty much everyone else is asleep or to stay up later down in the night when everyone else is asleep. So you have your quiet time. So many times that's what people need in order to be focused. I think in the end of the day, you got to do what's going to make you be more focused so you can be more productive, so you can actually accomplish things. That's what matters in the end of the day. I don't think it matters if you wake up at four or five or you wake up at seven or eight or you work at night and I don't know, go to sleep at 4 a.m. only, right? And then you wake up later. I also think that in terms of hours of sleep, I know people who sleep less. I know people who sleep more. With that, what I found out, it's, in my opinion, just with your biology. Some people just need more sleep. Other people need less. For me, I found out if I, if I don't sleep enough, I just can't be focused during the day. So for me, it's more about sleeping enough so I can be productive during the, the day. I don't think I used to try when I was younger to force myself to sleep less. But that what happened to me is that I just wasn't able to be as focused as I wanted during my work days. And then it just, in my opinion, it's basically losing the effectiveness of sleeping less. I think it's more about sleeping enough hours. So in the hours that you're awake, make sure that you're productive and doing things. Otherwise, it just, it's not worth it. I don't care if you sleep four hours a night, but you're doing nothing productive during your day. You think it's not worth it. I mean, so what? So you're awake. But if you all, all the time that you're awake, you're just watching Netflix, then is it really worth it? Probably not. So remember, it's not about 
the hours that you sleep, it's not about the hours that you wake up. You don't need to wake up in the sun. You don't need to wake up later. It, it really doesn't matter. The question you got to ask yourself is what do you do in the hours that you're awake? And it's all about accomplishing things and getting things done. And remember, done is always more important than perfect. Most people who are getting into business or want to do something else or grow their business by acquisitions, they're afraid because they're doing things outside their comfort zone and they're lying to themselves that because they're awake more hours maybe, then they're, they, they think, they're lying to themselves that they think that they accomplish more. But in reality, they're not really accomplishing. In the end of the day, when you go to sleep every night, what you need to ask yourself is, what did I accomplish today? What did I get done today? Did I finish things? Because if you didn't finish things, if you didn't accomplish things, I don't care how many hours you're awake, it doesn't matter. Um, and just choose your hours. For me, I just wake up at normal hours. Seven, eight, depends on, I mean, I'm not really, yes, I do have my, my consistent habit. I think it's more about being consistent and having some kind of rituals. But I don't think it matters. In my opinion, if you wake up at four or five or you wake up at, I don't know, 12 or one, if you worked all night, to be honest. I think it really depends on what you're doing and what's going to make you more focused. So those are my thoughts. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? What hours do you prefer? Do you prefer to wake up early? Do you prefer to just wake up at normal hours? Or maybe you just prefer to um, wake up later because you work at night? And yeah, let, let me know what do you think. Let me know how many hours do you think that you work or you work every day? And either way, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Hit the notification button if you didn't yet. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And if you want to buy a business or you want to grow your existing business by acquisition, because there's only so much sales and marketing you can do, you'd much rather buy other businesses, go to muanpover.com forward slash quiz and see the details there on how to work with us. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. See my other visit videos in the channel. There's a lot of awesome info about this space of buying businesses and it will open your eyes to what's possible. So, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.